I feel like I haven't stopped processing since last week, the angry activist. Um, but I'm wondering if you can help me with what's going on at the moment. I seem to have um, my grandfather's sexual rage and feelings of powerlessness associated with that, conflicting with my mother's anger at him. My mother was perpetrated against by him. Yeah. And I seem to have this war going on inside me that I can't resolve. And you know, can you give me any clues about how I might help myself deal with that, please? Sure. Um, firstly, your grandfather's sexual rage, you're feeling a lot of it at the moment uh, because your grandfather, as you know, is around you at times. And so you're actually feeling it from him. There's another thing, I was actually born on his birthday. Yeah. So, so there, there are some significant things going in be, on between you and your grandfather. And, um, your grandfather does have a lot of anger towards the feminine, and uh, and he sees homosexuality to a degree as sort of a feminine thing rather than a masculine thing, and so he's directing a lot of his sexual rage at you. Yeah, and so that's something that that you're having to deal with, and then. I feel, Brian, you sided on your mother's uh, emotions, like uh, you have a deep sort of commiseration, I suppose, feeling towards women uh, and the fact that women have been abused because as a, as a male and as a homosexual, often that's what's been aimed at you, so you can deeply relate to a woman's sexual abuse. And uh, to a degree, this is what's attracting grandfather's uh, uh, feelings. So the key for you is to go into your emotional sadness and grief about how you've been treated as a, as a, as a homosexual man and allow yourself to fully connect to those emotions. And what you, you, the other feelings you're feeling are actually your grandfather's feelings towards you. All right? so, so you can talk to your grandfather about what he's done. Uh, you, know, you obviously have a spirit connection, so you can talk to him about what he's done. You can talk to him about he needs to go away and feel his own sexual rage towards women um, and work through that emotionally rather than projecting it at you because that's what he's doing at the moment. Does that make sense?